Ndiba ye kine ni muno zo, nubo se nketata, dalu nilene nukunisi. Uwene se ulai ni yaine eme, nilwa kupo nubo se nketata, Eastern News 24. Aisi kubo se nketata maura na ima, aisi kwa kankwe chile ya zelo. Kadi kwa se dia utelo ni yabu nuko se dio ke mpa nubo se nketata, aina baku ya. Mwane nti, basta maka kosi, uwene eme. No boda e an basta makie di chi chere men no boda nke di kul na anose ko si ada. Ebe from Prime Minister ma samone pa wuli yo wuli kwa e di me ye ni na. Ando kwe na kanan chon wuli kwa e. So an ma gwa ibo mwane gente. Or the old eastern region ka aton ti na na. Gente kono nori ye di a from Prime Minister wuli ku an wuli kwa ndi ibo. Basta makaya bife. Meme no boda. Andi ya ge me. Ediko si di. Aye jiko si niya bife. Mani gesi ya ya. Eke shon ne like di ya. Andi shi ya ya. Kumu na indo zo we nukole ya. Right over to you sir. Exactly. What they were looking for. Since after the war. There is now an upsurge. Of jihadist movement. In Nigeria. In all these things. Yet. There are still some idiots who, because they have one spare part business or one hotel business, they tell you, let us stay in Nigeria because of what they are getting every month. They have forgot that you can't have a flourishing business under a terrorist watch they forgot that in as much as you are making money from your hotel businesses it is not guaranteed you can wake up tomorrow morning the hotel is gone you can wake up the next day the businesses that made you to turn against biafra is gone it has happened to many those who picked against our no election in Lagos, many of them have lost their means of livelihood to the same Nigeria. There is no guarantee. Many who, because they built mansions in Lagos, they thought if you have a mansion in Lagos, if you have a freedom, you will not have access to a mansion. They forgot that the governors are buying houses in the United Kingdom. They forgot that governors are buying houses in Dubai. They forgot that some of them who knows these governors know they have houses in the United States. But when it comes to you, they tell you you have investment in Nigeria. What is it called? Those houses they have in the United Kingdom, in America, in Dubai. Is that not an investment? Those investments are secured. Because when they are in Nigeria, they wake up one day and hear that those investments have been burned to ashes by fire. There is a guarantee that insurance will pay the money back even more than they bought it. That is guaranteed. So whatever they have outside Nigeria is guaranteed. While whatever they have within Nigeria is not guaranteed. That's why many of them do not have any investment in Nigeria. But I want you to remain there. So everything we have said has come to happen. And those who were waiting, thinking that we are going to fail, if we have failed like you wished, what would be what you should be doing today? You are going to be sitting in your home and terrorists will be overrunning your communities like they have done in other parts of Nigeria. They have done it in Jos, it is still ongoing. They have done it in the Middle Belt, it is still ongoing. They have done it in Yoruba land and it is still ongoing. It is only in Biafra land because of the coming of the Biafra Liberation Army. When the Biafra Liberation Army was formed, they thought we are going to be killed. They thought the international community will come for Simon Ekba. I am still here. 
They told you lies. That government in exile is not acceptable anywhere. That, oh, once you government in exile, the international community, Interpol, everybody will come for you. We have had government in exile functioning like never before we are still here. And they found out, they say you can't go violent. That if you go violent, nobody will listen to you. And I asked them, where are we the one who, going, who was going violent? The answer is no. They brought the violent on us and want to scare you by telling you you want to be called a terrorist. They even say all our activities is to blackmail IPOB. To blackmail Mazinam the Kanu so that they will brand them terrorists. And I ask again, where was Simon Ekba when Nigeria government proscribed IPOB? Was Simon Ekba part of IPOB then? The answer is no. Did IPOB do anything? The answer is no. Why then? You are now concerned about what Simon Ekba is doing. Even when Simon Ekba have exonerated Mazinam the Kanu in every activity we were doing before the government of Biafra in exile. All these accusations, all these blackmails, all this propaganda was just channeled to quench the fire of Biafra. Immediately, Mazina Mikano was captured. Everything Mazina Mikano did, when I want to do it, it becomes a problem to them. Many of you who are here today, very proud of this government, never supported the people who took it upon themselves. But such is life. Everybody must not agree with you. But what I want to tell you today is that every single thing we have said has come to pass. The only thing remaining is independence of Biafra. And the declaration will happen this year. I want you to understand that no matter the difficulties you are facing anywhere you are, it is a planned and orchestrated by Nigeria state to make sure you are not comfortable. The idea of Nigeria is to make everybody poor so that you can never rise up to fight them. It's to make sure you never have a voice and anybody who dare to rise up will be eliminated. I believe they are not happy because they didn't succeed. That is why when you are talking about freedom, many people are talking about what to eat. When we are talking about sit at home, many people still yet up to this point, they don't understand why sit at home is very important. They tell you, we don't have food. Today, the people that are not sitting at home, that have never sat at home for one day, are the one crying for hunger. Why the people who have been sitting at home for the past two and a half years are not crying? People do not understand why. They tell you, Ibu is business, this and that. The reason is because we never believed and never benefited from Nigeria government. Biafra never benefited from Nigeria government. We are not living because of the support of the government. But the people that are crying today from Yoruba to the northern Nigeria, all their life is dependable on the government of Nigeria. What comes from government? We are not government. We don't believe in government. We have never believed. And the dividend of our struggle is now happening right before everybody's eyes. Why people are shouting about the government policy? Their friends are not shouting because we never relied on the government in the first place for our livelihood. There is no rocket science. There is no magic. The magic is that there has never been any day that Biafra person hope on Nigeria. 
So whether the country is going down, it doesn't concern us because we are self-made. It is always the policy of Nigeria against Biafra people who survive every policy. They come against our importation of goods, we survive it. They close the port and make us to go to Lagos to import and impose all manner of taxes, we survive it. They ban importation of rice, we survive it. Because they believe that it was Biafra people that are importing foreign rice. We survive it. In all these things happening, the people who are in power, who are representative of the terrorist state of Nigeria from Biafra extraction have become victim. But when they become a victim, do you know what they do? They look for a way to compensate themselves. And I'll give an example of one of the victims. One of the victims of Nigeria state, who is also a representative from Biafra extraction, was somebody called Oga. Oga was the minister, the junior minister of solid mineral. If I'm not mistaken, in the past government of the dead Buhari. Oga, before he was appointed as a minister, his container, full load container of rice, was impounded by the Nigeria custom. The whole container of rice was impounded by the Nigeria custom. Before COVID-19 uh, pandemic. Then he was not appointed as the minister. But you know what? As the selfish as they are, he struggled his way to become the minister. And of course, he will recover his money back. Nobody, nobody saw him complaining about impounding of that container of rice. That container of rice that was impounded by custom, later was shared to northern Nigeria during the pandemic. None of those rice was shared to Biafra people. During the pandemic, they shared food to other parts of Nigeria, from Yoruba to northern Nigeria. But in the Biafra land, they never shared anything to us because we are not relying on, on Nigeria government. Nigeria government does not exist where we are. But you see people who are also making this particular living by themselves continue to validate an evil state that never represented them. When you talk about Biafra, they tell you they have businesses. The businesses that is not secured, the businesses that nobody, if tomorrow you wake up, the fire burn it, that is the end. You will start from square one. My people, we are looking for a country that every penny you make will be secured. We are looking for a country that every investment you make will be secured. We are looking for a country where you build one house, that house will be insured. And if anything happens to that house, you make sure that nothing is, you, don't, you are not losing anything, anything. But for Nigeria today, that is not possible. There is no way you can compare Biafra. So what is the problem? The problem is ignorant, greed, and selfish interest. And we must begin to think towards the direction of self-preservation. We are not fighting for survival. We told you that the Islamization is real. You said, no, it is not real. You rather want to do business. Let me tell you, those of you that are building your mansion in the northern Nigeria, we are not against you. But you know what? You are in a very tight corner. Because by the time Biafra will exit, you have to abide by the law that governed them. It is not this particular law you see now. It's not this Sharia law. The law that is coming after Biafra exit will be very, very tough. So it is either you cope or you leave their land. Or you see Biafra, we are going to drag everybody to it. And let me tell you, in a freedom fighting, many things some of you don't know. In freedom fighting, it does not require multitude. It requires only few people committed 
we are not expecting everybody to agree. But you see you, so long as you come from Biafra land, we will drag you, me will drag you to Biafra by fire, by force. And if you think that you can stop me, I will stop you. If you volunteer yourself to be the person that Nigeria will use, we will stop you even before you breed. And like I said, everything I'm doing today, I will stand anywhere to defend it. I am fighting a just cause to make sure my people are not being killed again like they are killing other people in Nigeria. My fellow Biafrans, before the election of 2023, we told them we don't want to see Nigeria conduct election in Biafra land. And I want it to be on record that since the beginning of the struggle of Biafra is after the war, this present movement is the only movement that have stand their ground on no election from the beginning to the end. For the very first time ever, what we have been able to do is to make sure that the enemy will know that when we say A, our A is A, you either take it or you will face the consequences. I am not here to convince anybody. What I'm here to do is to make sure that whatever that is going to destroy this evil entity called Nigeria, Islamic State, I am ready for it. And I will do it without even looking back. And that I have been able to prove. Before the election, a lot of people wrote a petition against me. Where are they today? They have joined those protesting in the street. We told them no election will hold in Biafra land. We succeeded. And let me tell you, forget all the people telling you obedient, obey this one. If Obi had entered to become a president, by now Nigeria would be on fire. He should go and thank his God that Biafra stopped him. Because the truth that I have refused to tell you is that Biafra stopped the Obi, the London boy. It was because of the Biafra government that Nigeria and your properties are still there today. Because Hadebi Robi is a president, and this what you see here happening now in Nigeria, it will be times three. Because that is when the sabotage plus the economic hardship will take its, its shape. And they will start burning your businesses. Those of you in Kano will not even have a place to stay. So every Biafran who supported Obi should go and thank God. And they have to apologize to the Biafra government. Because we will stop that particular calamity from falling from befalling them. If you doubt me, those of them and those of you who shouted LOP in Lagos and you get butchered, many people were killed. Everybody is mute to today. Your businesses was burned. We even threatened of sending ESN then to Lagos State to protect your businesses. At the end of the day, what happened? Your businesses have been destroyed. P2B was not there. The people that destroyed your business are now looking for you to come and protest with them. Thinking that you are in the same page. Thinking that they actually have the Nigeria. So if you don't feel the heat of the hardship of Nigeria, no matter what, because you are self-made, it is not, you don't, your life is not dependable on government of Nigeria. You have already gotten your freedom. Why are you allowing yourself to be deceived by people who never cared about you? You provide electricity for yourself. You provide security for yourself. You provide water for yourself. Yet, you want a country that will come to kill your people in the village because they are not the same religion with other people in northern Nigeria. My people, we have raised army. This army we raise is not going down soon. And never will they go down. The army we raise is not also reducing in population and in numbers. Rather, the population and their numbers will be increasing. This army can never ever drop weapon. Till the day 
Nigeria flag will be removed from every corner of Biafra land and the Biafra independence will be restored. We will fight till the end. Oh the assurance I'm giving to Biafra people today, especially some of you in Africa, is only your support. Your support and nothing else. This Biafra army you see, for those of you who did not believe what was happening before, at least a few weeks ago, you were able to, if you don't, if you know your people, those who have been lying to you, that uh, nothing is going on in Biafra land, some of you who come from those areas may have made calls for your people to tell you what is going on. A lot of people have been des have deserted their homes. But you see, they tell you they are going house to house to kill our people. And thinking that that will stop what we are doing. They can never stop it. They will kill us. We will kill them. By the end, Biafra will come. The only thing is that make sure you are not among those that will fall in the hand of Nigeria government. Before they kill you, kill them back. Don't allow anybody to kill you first. It is a, a war that must be fought and our freedom will be achieved. My encouragement to all of you today is to make sure that no matter how they blackmail and threaten our, our people, do not succumb to their threat. Do not succumb to their propaganda. Remember, Nigeria can never tell you the truth. The people that are fighting in Biafra land that they are sending to come to kill our people in Biafra land, they will come, but they will not go back. Yet, there is no news reporting it. The only thing you will hear is that corpses are decaying in military mortuaries. Corpses of who? Corpses of soldiers. Who killed them? They died in Biafra land. And they will continue to die. They said they are ready to fight Biafra Liberation Army one month until our bullet finishes. I told them, if you want our bullets to finish, if that is your criteria to defeat our army, you have not started. We are ready to take you on three months. And if you say you are going to fight us for four months until our bu bullet finishes, then we are ready for you for one year. We'll give you another six months ahead. And today, where are they? After six days, they ran away. We defeated them. We defeat them on the air. We defeat them on the ground. Our anti-aircraft, the sound alone will bring down their plane. Yet, the jet cannot fly low to throw bomb. They go up very, very far and start throwing bomb there. Before the bomb gets to the ground, it will only be touching the trees. Any day they come closer, we will bring the plane down. And I'm not, I'm not having something in my mouth. We told them, time has come. Nobody is running away. No, don't run away from the war you started. But you see, our people can never, ever be killed again. And it is happening because of your support, your resilience, that's the support you have given to this government till now. And your belief in me. Yes. Because it is the belief that made you able to start supporting the agitation when we were in autopilot. Today, we have metamorphosed to be Afro government in exile. And believe me, that government in exile will metamorphose to be Afro independence. In a very, very few months' time, we will declare Biafra in Finland and we are going to start the defense of Biafra land. We will start taking up the street. I want you to take record of what I'm saying. We will start taking the street of Biafra, one after the other. And that will start happening immediately after declaration. I know that many moles are still among us who give them information, give them impetus yes. and courage to start attacking Biafra Liberation Army. But let me tell you, yes. if you are one of them, your days are numbered. Yes. I'm not hiding it. And if they are expecting us to start going after each other, we will not do it until the time is right. We are more focused and our eyes will continue to remain on the rising sun. I welcome you, Africa. Remember, your support is what the Biafra Liberation Army is needed and nothing else. Thank you for inviting me to Africa today to address you. And I can see the numbers here. Very, very encouraging. Almost 300 on this particular Zoom.
many watching from all over the world. So this is a very encouraging one. Africans, Biafrans in African countries uh, have risen up. And I want to encourage you all to stay very strong, to know that everybody must be part of this liberation, one way or the other. As our self-referendum is ongoing, they are also laughing at us. But you know, at the end of the day, when we come to Helsinki, their laugh will be converted to tears. Because in this Helsinki, wonders and magic will happen. Remember that we have been telling them that we are going to bring Biafra from diaspora in 2021. Nobody knows what I was talking about. In 2022, yes. nobody knows what I said. We will bring Biafra from diaspora. Now, what does it mean to declare the restoration of independence of Biafra in Finland? Because the state of Nigeria is in an anarchy. It's in a fragile yes. state. As a government in exile, we choose a place which we feel will be more appropriate for our declaration. And that is why it is government in exile. And the by Dalo Lineno, Consness or any name, Niva Bubo. Adeke is so a gay beef in the rear the ballon, the gentle lion who was in Iraq war, no basin catano, or the key be a boy. Gave you a equal stomach air beef and done, you know, who was in Iraq war. Folk will in the opera because the gave you a key to stomach air beef. A drop wire on the comment section below. Chitapa the app is standing twenty four. I see when you were telling the posia document. Dana no moon them one came as young.